How's it going Pokemon Ninjas? Tonight we're going to try something different. We are going to do Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Pokemon. We are going to see which one is better. So as far as this Yu-Gi-Oh! goes, Ghost from the Past, the second haunting, it's basically Ghost Rare or Bust. There's not really many cards that are worth uh, decent value. Like, Aluber is like a $5 card, and that's it. Everything else is below that, like a dollar or less. At least with Brilliant Stars, you have a decent amount of cards that are worth more than $5, $10, or more. The card to get in this set is obviously going to be Hyper Rare Charizard, any of the alternate art, Arceus cards. There's a lot of options, and then the main card is the alternate art Charizard. So we're going to see if we can pull one of these alternate arts and we will try and pull a ghost rare the ghost rare to pull is the dark magician girl so hopefully we can get one of those so there's a code card for that probably shouldn't do the tr pack trick too much uh so we can save some time here Carablast, star you burmy rayolu lipard magmortar we'll try to do a price match on these pack this pack battle here i suppose you can call it and see if we can get a good guesstimate of what kind of value you can get out of these packs. So let's just go straight through the packs. So we got Vadoof, Shinx, Grimer, Duskull, Farfetch'd, Mewtwo, and we're starting off with a Zarude V. So essentially, uh, Pokemon is in the lead for this one. There's the code card for that. I mean, Zarude's not worth much, but it's a start. Hopefully, we can get something good out of these packs today. We got a Sky Calvary, got an Insector, and an Agent. So, nothing there. So, yeah, it's, it's basically Ghost Rare or Bust for the Ghost from the Past set. Carablast, Milkery, Starly, Tropius, and a Zamazenta V. So, already... Brilliant Stars is doing pretty good uh, compared to Ghost from the Past. But that's all right, because literally all they need, all Ghost from the Past needs is one Ghost Rare. And that can change everything for it. So let's see what we can get here. We've got Agent of Force, got Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. I don't think that's worth much. But we'll set it aside and see, uh, see if, what the value is on that card. I don't even think it's worth a dollar, so... It might be playable, but I really don't think it's worth a whole lot. So we got a Gibble, Weasel, Halucha, Electabuzz, Bidoof, Wormadam, and a Lipard. We're not going to count anything that's uh, like a reverse rare or anything. Because none of those are really worth anything. Essentially anything that's potentially over a dollar we'll, we'll consider part of the battle here. Got a Chimchar. What's nice about Brilliant Stars is you can get a lot of pulls out of it, so it has a good chance of getting a good lead against Ghost from the Past. Let's see if we can get something here. All right, nothing yet. We haven't even pulled any of the good dollar cards, like. There are some cards that are worth a little bit, but we haven't pulled nothing. <clears throat> Got a Burmy, Staryu, Magmar, Ro, Halucha, Sigilyph, and a Dredagon. So, kind of running dry on some of these pulls here. We need to get something to kind of get this battle going. Got a Geomech. Ooh, whoa. There we got a Borland Dragon. I think that's worth a dollar or so. Catching up now. Ghost from the Past is. Hopefully we can get some decent pulls here. Either way, whichever packs win, we need to get some good pulls either way. Uh, if you stuck around this far, I am going to do a giveaway for this card. 
in order to win this card you have to like the video you have to be subscribed and comment down below what do you think is going to win do you think ghost from the past is going to win or do you think brilliant stars will win and also in order to win this you have to be a citizen of the united states because it is very expensive to send overseas so only if you are located in the u.s will you be able to enter the giveaway so if you're wanting that card add it to your collection like the video subscribe and comment down below who, who do you think is going to win this battle i think that might be worth a little bit i'm kind of hoping that uh I'm expecting Brilliant Stars to win, but I, I wouldn't mind um, I wouldn't mind uh, Ghost from the Past winning either. There's only two cards that I really want from Ghost from the Past, and that's Dark Magician Girl and uh, another Blue Eyes. Got a Repsia Egg, Yang Zing, and a Ghost Trick. And with Brilliant Stars, there's quite a few cards I wouldn't mind getting. There's uh, the Umbreons, got the Charizards, all the Arceus cards. There's so many cards in this set to get. That's why I think that Brilliant Stars could win very easily. But right now, it's, the pull rates aren't there. Usually, Brilliant Stars is way better in pull rates, but so far, nothing great. Okay, there we go. Uh, that might have just put the uh, Ghost from the Past Packs, uh, past packs ahead, because the Luber is worth about five dollars or so we're actually going to sleeve that one up pretty good card to pull for ghost so i think ghost from the past right now might be in the lead like i said i'll put the uh, prices uh, for these cards in the video that way we can get a running total as we uh, go through the video the fairy carablast milkery starly ryolu mewtwo lapras we're not even getting any like training cards like uh trainer gallery cards what is up with Brilliant Stars? Might have to change my uh, prediction. Might have to say that uh, Ghost from the Past is going to win this one. Got Necroslime, Reptilian, Great Mammoth, Master Flare, Hyperion. It's just crazy how many Hyper Rares, or how many, not Hyper Rares, but how many suit Ultra Rares are in the set, but none of them are really worth anything. Okay, so we've got another Zamazenta. Trying to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ghost from the Past with a V-pull there. Come on, give us a Ghost Rare right here. Now we've got a Crystal Beast. I think that's worth a little bit. And we get a little bit of a uh, back and forth here. Trading punches. Uh, for this battle see who really wants it the most can we get some uh cue the rocky music okay there we go we got a houndoom uh so there's a trainer gallery card we've been looking for and a code card we have one two three four five there and should have five we got four there so i think we open an extra pack here somewhere that's all right i think we should have 16 for each set if i'm not mistaken decode talker heat soul that's worth a little bit so now we're starting to heat up a little bit we're getting a little bit of pulls back and forth and since we'll go back to the actually you know what that's why we're i think that's why we started with brilliant stars and that's why we had one extra pack there can we get something good here? We need something really good for this video. Okay, code card there. Let's see if we can get a ghost rare from this pack right here. Come on. I'm calling it. We're going to pull a ghost rare of this pack. Blue eyes. Sanctuary in the sky. Outburst dragon. Can't remember. That might be worth something. I mean, zombie world might actually be worth something. If it's not worth over a dollar, I'm not going to count it towards the total. I'm just pulling out cards that I think that are potentially usable for play. I don't really play Yu-Gi-Oh, so I don't really know much about what's usable for the game. All right, code card there. Come 
Oh, we need a really good pool here. Close this out. Yang Zhang, Dark Contract, Fossil Machine, nothing. Another zombie world. Well, we got two packs each. Can we get some last pack? A little bit of a last couple packs of magic here. We need something really good to close this out. Clink, Sneasel, Turtwig, Hiplup, Shroomish, Axew, Muck. So nothing there. Code card. I might, come, I might come down to the last packs here. We're getting pretty close to it. Cupid Pitch, Box of Friends, DDD, Pendulum, Despian Tragedy. Might be worth a little bit. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! might win just based off of uh, the number of uh, regular pulls. All right, we might have a double pack here. So let's see if we can get something good to close out. Badoof, Sneasel, Ultra Ball, Honchcrow. And nothing to end. So we'll get a nice running total for the video and uh, see who won. Like I said, if you want to win this card, like the video, comment down below. Who do you think wins? And subscribe. Thanks for watching. Pokemon Ninja out.